bridge and the posterior canal wall removal in a wet temporal bone left side so you can see the part of the bone which has been removed earlier while exposing the foot plate that is the posterior bony overhang removal there is the posterior superior canal wall and that is the bridge bridge is that part of the posterior superior canal wall which lies lateral to the adductors there is the inferior canal wall and there is a posterior canal wall Now you can visualize beautifully the cauda tympani. That is the inferior canal wall. Now the drilling of the posterior superior canal wall, lateral to the adductors. And that is the bridge which is being drilled out. I am using a smaller size burbit. There is a lateral most part of the posterior superior canal wall. And there is a medial most part of the posterior superior canal wall. And there is the bridge. Still a small piece of bone is attached. and the bridge is not completely removed care is taken not to uh, disturb the medially lying incus while removing the bridge once you remove the bridge the lateral epitympanic space gets partially opened and now we can just visualize the lateral process of malleus in the middle ear see how beautifully the bridge is being removed again bridge is that part of the posterior superior canal wall which lies lateral to the adductors the anterior buttress is still intact now we can beautifully see the neck of malleus the prosac space and the head of malleus the scutum in the posterior part has been removed while it is still being retained in the anterior part now to understand the anatomy of the posterior canal wall 
the height of the posterior canal wall will be now lowered before understanding the facial ridge so inferiorly a cut is made on the posterior canal wall I have done this purposefully to understand and correlate the middle ear with the mastoid antrum and the mastoid cortex. Now medially, your cut is made, it is belts, it is safe and it lies very lateral to the facial nerve. This step is purely done to make the anatomy more clear. So when you go to the posterior tympanotomy, the relationship of, from the, of the uh, uh, drill work to the middle ear will make you understand better. So posteriorly the incision, uh, the drill work is continued deeper. And now you can see that the posterior canal wall is completely, um, uh, part of the posterior canal wall is completely removed. 